Good morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. It's an exciting day on Dirt Perfect property. Yeah, it We've is. We've got a random in-between day. It's a little bit on the muddy side. We're gonna see if we can get the old uh, drag line fired up and going. Yes, uh, first things first, let's see if she starts. Yeah. All right, we got a Brasaris Erie 22B. If you guys that don't know, about a year ago, not quite a year ago, I actually drug this thing out of a barn in Pennsylvania from a guy named Jerry. This was kind of his pride and joy. Uh, pretty good old piece, pretty solid piece, but it was never configured as a drag line, and we have all the stuff to configure it as a drag line. So that makes this puzzle a little bit more difficult because it's just not like plug and play, put everything back where it was. We actually got to reconfigure this from what it was a crane into a drag line, which I'll get into more details of that later, but we basically got to get this second drum activated to get a break on it. And uh, we got to get a fair lead put on it. And then we got to get the bucket rigged up. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. First thing we need to do is see if it'll fire off. I think we're going to back it up just far enough here that we can get the boom on it. And once we get the boom on it, we'll kind of start working through all the other issues. The old girl's been sitting for about a year. We did check and make sure the rack was free. You got a Detroit in it. And uh, it's got fluids in it. We're going to crank on her and see what happens. Let's crank on and see what happens. You ready? Ready. What do you think? Let her, crank this, let her crank this a little bit, then give her a shot. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> all right oh man 
that's got me the itch guys that's got me the itch i want to dig with this thing so bad it's ridiculous but we gotta piece it together we can't get too far ahead of ourselves Aaron and i were discussing i think we're gonna put this it's only a three-piece boom i think we're gonna put it in uh piece by piece instead of trying to piece it together and then put it in so i think the best way to do this we're gonna come over here and grab this section with the 120 since we got it down here we'll uh walk it around set it in there just kind of build our way out and make her happen all right first piece of boom is rigged and ready to roll or lift i guess we better hope it don't roll yeah let's see uh i'm excited man can you guys tell i'm excited i'm super excited <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see what happens. You ready? I mean, that went together. Don't say anything. I know. Don't say anything. Okay, so we got to get that. Before we drive those boom pins all the way in, we got to get that fair lead in. So what do you think about taking this end of the bucket, or this end of the boom, setting it up on that loader bucket to hold it up? Yeah. We'll get that fair lead in, then we'll bring our next section on. Yeah. All right, let's set that bucket underneath there. You get that bucket, I'm going to go ahead and clean these while you're doing yep. that. All right, I'm gonna set this bugger right here as a jack stand. I know we're probably gonna have to uh, get a little creative when we go to get it out of there. But I should be able to fish it out of there with the forks. It should allow us to get that next section on there. Get ahead of myself. This is the fair lead. So basically what this thing does 
is whenever the cable comes back that drags the bucket in, it guides the it guides the cable onto the drum is the best way I know to explain it. But these right here hang on the boom pin. So what we're gonna need to do is choke that thing. It's actually upside down right now. Choke it and get it hung in there. We probably need to do that next before we put the next section of uh, a boom on. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can make that happen. Well, man, behind the scenes, I think we made a discovery. We have the proper boom pin for this side. Mm -hmm. We do not have the proper boom pin for this side. But we have enough of a boom pin to continue progress. Yes. Don't you think? I think so. We just have to, uh, here, let's, uh, let's make sure we don't need any other pieces or parts. We'll have to make something for there at some point. I think we'll be good, so. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's in. Looks like everything lines up. We gotta get this freed up. It's stuck. But I think that's going to be easier done after the boom's up in the way, don't you think? Yeah. Next section of boom? Yeah, I think so. You ready? Got all of our surfaces cleaned up. Man, the old boom don't look too bad for as old as what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's got a little damage yeah. here and there, but I think what we're going to use the part's going to be just fine. Yep. All right. Swing her in there? Yep.
Yeah. Put your socket on the other side because I don't have a deep well. Oh, we got deep wells, don't we? Not inch and the eighth, we oh, don't. Oh, shoot. Ready? Yep. I can't believe how well it's bolting up for as old as what it is. You get into that one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go down. That one I won't be able to get that side. All right. Ready? Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't like it. Alright guys, section number two is in. One more section to go. My Angie's looking good. I'm gonna grab my jack stand bucket here. Push it back to this next section. Section of boom. We got a couple of bottom bolts in. You think we can hinge it up in? Yeah. All right. Away well, we go. A little heavy out there on the end with all the shivs and bearings and rigging, but I think we can make it work. Next section of boom is in, man, she looks good. I'm gonna move our bucket back or our jack stand here. I don't wanna leave it here. I don't wanna take a chance on kinking that boom.
so the next thing we need to do before we restring this uh, boom is we got to get the brake on this drum because this this drum right here actually it's a drum on the other side that's tied to it that's what controls the boom coming down you want all the good news or the bad news of course good news all good news the today. good news is in my pallet of parts over there i think we found everything we needed yeah. the bad news is there's some assembly required i have found the brake lining or the brake band i have found the brake linings and i have found rivets so oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to put it all together. Yep. You ever riveted linings onto a... No, I haven't. Be a first. Have you? No, I haven't. Okay. So we watch a so YouTube you know exactly video on this, what? or you think we're good to go? Yeah. Uh, I'll say this is a shop project. You want to take it to the shop and... Yeah. See what we can come up with? Yep. I've never done this before. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking we put the lining on there, hold the rivet up in there with that, Put it on this as a backstop hit with an air hammer. It's got to work, right? Got to. I, I am sounding so for sure right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, they well, make tools for this. Well, you know what? I'm sure they did back in 1950. That one's really different. Well, there's an extra. There's an extra? We had we three. Because not all these are the same ones. Yeah. I think I can only put one rivet in at a time though, because you ready? I'm ready. It's on there, it's tight. I feel like it should mass out more though. There we go. Like that, huh? <laughs> that almost looks like a factory did it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. I feel like we should do one down here somewhere now. Oops. I mean, I hope you put it in the right spot. I didn't. I'm two holes off. Oh, maybe that's why they give you 72, 12 extra, huh? Oh, gosh dang, it was working so good. <laughs> Where were you at on that one? I had your people with me. All right, I think this is- I'm for sure they're gonna say, make sure you got it lined up right before you start. I mean, because that's what I said before we turned the camera on. <laughs> I think this is a good episode. This is a good time for time lapse mode. <laughs> you, you don't have to bleep. What? Cutting them off? You don't have to bleep the cussing out of time lapse. <laughs> yeah, you don't, do you? <laughs>
way behind the scenes, I don't know if anybody's going to be hiring us to uh, reline brake bands anytime soon, which I'm perfectly fine with. But yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. I guess we'll find out when the bucket stops yeah. or don't stop. So, all right, we're going to go back. <coughs> excuse me, we'll go back down. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is the drag brake, which I thought was also the boom brake, which is not. And the boom brake, well, it looks to be a little more complicated. So let's stick with the simple stuff for now. And then yeah. uh, we'll get into this, this stuff here a little bit later. Yeah, there's a lot of springs and stuff going on there. It'll be fun. That'd be, that'd be Got your new excavator, Jerry. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> you, might, you might call me back when we get a run and all fixed up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hopefully I don't end up like Lieutenant Dan sitting in the shed over there. So you ever ran drag line? No, I've, I've, just, I've, I've seen them ran and I've seen a guy do good That job makes three of us. <laughs> between, between one of the three of us here, you're going to have to be able to run it. Though. I'm going to yeah. figure it out one way or another. If it's the death of me, I'm going to figure out how to run this thing. So, but we could do on the other options, try to get somebody that can run it, but then you know he's not going to get along with Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got, uh, I guess let's put that drag brake back on and then we'll figure out that hoist clutch situation. Mm -hmm. All right, somebody forgot the other half of the brake band. We just ribbed it together at the shop. Who took both of them in the shop? I did. It wasn't that hard. Who carried one of them out no, of the shop? No, listen to me. It ain't that hard to carry two of them at a time. I was carrying the other parts. No. Yes. Just I carried a bucket of parts and no. a brake band and a drink. What'd you Came carry out? Got... Nothing. That's what I thought. All right. Anyways. So, luckily, Jerry's here. <laughs> Jerry went up to get our brake band. We forgot. Well, he's doing that. We got to figure out what's going on with the hoist. So, the hoist clutch is in here. This is what they call a booster band down here, which is this one. And then the actual hoist brake is out here. Somebody else is taking this apart. I do have this fancy diagram of how stuff's supposed to work. But, uh, yeah. I think the first thing we need to do is get the hoist brake on. It looks like that goes on first. Uh, let me see if I can get that slid around there. And then we'll try to figure out all the linkages and stuff. Uh, Let's see if we can get this thing wrestled around there. All right, pull the bottom to you a little bit. Oh. I need. Springs are on, right? Yep, springs are on. Okay. So now, you roll that up on there? Yep. Pull your hand up. Well, I gotta get you slack like this. Oh, from the uh, bottom side. Yep. Okay, uh, let me get a pry bar from the bottom, I got it. We're so close. Oh, got it. I mean, the proper way to do that would have been to break the band, but that's if the uh, bolts weren't made in 1960. Yeah. So then, I'm not going to snug that down too much, but basically that. Okay. So that should be our boom brake. Now we gotta figure out our boom clutch. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to video any of this because it's really tight down in there, but we're gonna try to get this band on, which hooks into this linkage right here. And the way this cam works is whenever you pull the lever, it disengages the brake and engages the clutch. So hopefully if everything works good, you got smooth operation up. So. Well, can I show them how that works? Yeah, there you go. Yep. 
So that one's disengaging the brake, and this one's dis or in engaging the clutch. So let her back off. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can find that in there. I guess. Yeah. All right, man. Behind the scenes, I think we got everything installed in there and i think we finally figured out how this works so what you got to hold up right there is the boom lever yes so if you push it forward it only releases this brake by this cam right here so if you push it forward that moves that way releasing this brake which would allow the boom to go down now if you pull it the other way it pushes that forward and pushes this out which pulls on that band which pushes on that lever which engages this clutch which turns this drum which raises the hoist there we go. Do you follow all that? I got all that. It's all that I simple. need to know is up and down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, I say we put this brake on, which should be easy compared to what we just did. Yeah. And then I think at that point we need to fire it up and do a little test run on all this before we string any cables. Okay. Don't let me forget to uncover them. You got wasps going in your intake. And your uh, yeah, Detroit's eat walls for lunch. Oh, do they? Yeah, I could, I could have kept them uncovered, I guess. <laughs> All, right. All right, okay, let's see if we can figure this one out. I hope these people appreciate us trying to film this way down in here. So I need to go through here, jump started through there, and then through the brake somehow. Do I need to go, right I need up. to go towards the back a little bit. Ow, foot stuck. Okay. Oh, where's the brake? There. Oh, gosh. Right there. Oh, I'm so close. All right, don't move. Okay. Pull it back to you just a little bit. Right there. Uh, I lied. Back to me a little bit. Okay, that's, uh, that's all we're getting. We're hitting the nut there. Gosh, so man, I'm so, so close. Okay, hold on. Get in here and try to bottom up here. Oh. Okay. Now, more or too much? I don't know. All right. Oh, it's going. Got it. All right. Yeah. That All right. Let's see which way I need to go. Like right there. So close. I think you're started. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get a Peter type of All right, we're gonna slide that pan in back there the rest of the way, and I'll have this end tidied up. And then we gotta get the bands bolted together. All right, bolt these things together. We gotta go. I think it'll go. I don't know if this is a hammer or not, but it'll work for me. All right, what's next? You got your spacer. Okay. This goes up here. That goes up there? Yep. And okay. You got a washer. Okay. So you want this up through. Yep. There you go. Oh. All right, hold so on. So I'm going to have to pry up. Nope. You just, you just hold oh, still. right there. That's what I'm talking about. I'd started on there straight and not cross threaded though. Yeah. Um, You're way off. There you go. Yeah. Got it. There you go. Alright. So there it started. Alright, so now we just need to I think that's our adjustment. Yeah. So we just need to get it down close. Yep. See what we got. Woo! Well that was fun. Alright, man, behind the scenes, you back here? I'm back here. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's uh, fire it up. See if everything we did seems to work okay. before we go stretching any cables. Sounds good. 
hopefully. I mean, the brakes feel good now. I don't know. No time like the present. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Oh, she sounded so excited to run that she let us down. Here we go. scenes we might have a few minor adjustments to make but well, i think everything yeah. works what do you think yeah everything spins Maybe. when you tell it to spin everything stops when you tell it to yeah. stop so i think uh i think at this point we're ready to stretch some cables yeah all right but unfortunately yeah, the final adjustments. unfortunately it is a little too late in the day, day to do that it's getting late on us but well we'll blame that on jerry yeah jerry held us up didn't yeah. we would blame it <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll reconvene first thing Monday morning when it's nice and cool. Yeah, and we'll at least get the boom up in the air. That's going to be the goal. At least yeah. get the boom up in the air. All right. I like it, man. Every time I hear that thing purr, I'm like, yeah. I can't buddy. believe how good it sounds. It does, man. It don't even smoke. No. That's impressive for Detroit. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys Monday. We'll stretch some cables. All right, guys, hate to do this to you, but we end up running into a few more obstacles and a couple more adventures trying to get this boom cable in. And we're going to bust this up into uh, two different videos. Otherwise, this one will be well over an hour and a half long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss that on uh, part two. I consider subscribing. It's free, guys. That way we can catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.